welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Natasha Denona review. Now, I feel like most everyone I know on YouTube and Instagram have basically said Mel Thompson has made them want to buy this palette. So I know there's a bunch of other reviews out there already, but I just wanted to give you guys my two little cents because I feel like I'm one of the unique few people that don't necessarily like love Natasha Denona. I have a few things from her. Actually, I only have like one thing that I kept from her. I have one of her like blush highlighter products, which is amazing. I love wearing that. But I've always like dabbled with their products. I bought one of her five pan eyeshadow palettes when they first launched. Didn't love it. It was like a hot mess that formula was a mess. I tried the Lila palette, the Sunset palette. Didn't think those were worth $129. I tried the Mini Star palette very recently. I did actually end up returning that as well because I was not a fan of the colors. Oh, and I tried her face palettes. I'll put up a picture if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And I actually didn't think those were worth the money either. So I've had a lot of moments on my channel with Natasha Denona. I actually have a playlist, so I will try and remember to link it so you guys can go watch it. But it's shocking because I'm just gonna tell you guys, I actually really love this palette. Like, I'm surprised myself. Like, I didn't buy it right away. I gave it like two, three days after it launched and I was like, God damn it, I kind of want it. Like, I love gold shadows. I'm a very neutral person usually. I dabbled a little bit with color, especially in the summer, because of Angelica. She kind of influenced me to do that. Now that it's like fall, I've really been enjoying shades like this. And so I bought it. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. So this palette is $129. You get 15 shades, 0.08 ounces per pan. Now this, they say, is the classic signature Natasha Denona formula, which I'm trying to figure out what that is because I know most people that like her palettes have said pretty much every palette has a different formula so I feel like that's something she wants to maybe try and get it, get it together. She's also cruelty free which I think is nice because a lot of people don't buy Pat McGrath I believe because Pat McGrath is not cruelty free. There is uh, four formulas in here. We've got matte, metallic, sparkling, and duochrome. I think this is a kick-ass palette. Oh yeah, I bought mine on Sephora. You can also buy it on Beautylish. Beautylish does have a payment program, so if you spend over $100, you can do three easy payments, uh, which is kind of a nice way to ease the pain of something this pricey. As far as the application goes, I like to put all the shimmery shades down with a glitter glue. My go-to glitter glue is Too Faced Glitter Glue. It's amazing, honestly. If you don't have it, add it to your Sephora basket right now. And I feel like I get a great all day wear. The pigmentation stayed really well. I don't have to worry about touch-ups or anything like that. And I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys some swatches of this palette. And then I want to compare it to the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette, which I feel like is the ultimate gold palette that has been out recently, and then I will let you know if I would repurchase these or not. Okay, so for swatches, I did write down a little bit of information on each shade. So this first shade, oh my god, you guys. I love it so much. I want to compare it, actually, to a shade in the, the Bronze Seduction Palette. Identical Pat McGrath. Oh my gosh, what the shit. Look at that. I feel like they're, oh my god. Betty! <laughs> what? Okay, so I swatched Natasha Denona and that's Pat McGrath. I knew those shades would be similar because I was like, holy crap, they're so freaking similar when I used them separate. Anyway, so that is Lime Chrome, which is a yellow-green metallic, and I already found you a dupe in the Pat McGrath palette in case you guys wanted to buy Pat McGrath. And the next shade is called Python, which is described as a light medium green. I don't know. I always thought this was a blue, but I guess you could call it a green. I don't think it's a green, but sure. Next shade is Sparks, which is a beautiful like topper. It's like a glitter pearl. There's that. And then we have the shade Aria, which is a vintage 
coral mat. I'm actually like questioning what I wrote because there's nothing coral about that. Uh, Kava is a sheer champagne, sheer champagne glitter. This is beautiful. I've worn this. Again, glitter glue goes a long way with this stuff. Next shade is one of my favorites. It's called Aurora. It's a blue emerald glitter. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Again, with a glitter base uh, or like a glitter glue. Sticks to your lids to perfection. Okay, the next shade is one of my favorite mattes. It's called Dijon and it's a mustard matte. Oh my gosh. So pretty in the crease. And then this gold is called Oro. So pretty. It's like liquid gold. Are you kidding me? Next we've got this matte brown shade called Log. Super pretty. I use that to deepen up the outer V. And then I have a shade called Varus. It's like a copper bronze tone. Let's swatch that right here. I'm trying to swatch it so it makes sense with the camera. And then we have a shade called Brass, which is a bronze gold green duochrome. I've worn this on my eyes as well. It's beautiful. Stunning. Then I have Sandstone, which is a light terracotta matte. You probably won't be able to see that on my skin tone. Next, I have Alchemist, which is a rose gold metallic. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And then we have a matte called Teak, which is a vintage terracotta matte. Aurum, Aurum is a dusty gold metallic. Dusty and gold it is. So there are all the swatches. I just wanted to show you swatches because I hadn't done a swatch video with this particular palette. Also the packaging is really stunning. It's got this like metallic gold foiled effect, but it's very much the same as her other palettes. And then I wanted to show you guys this, which is the Juvia's Place all gold palette. And I feel like basically the Juvia's Place is a very basic version of an all gold palette. Whereas Natasha Denona did elevate the gold shades. As you can see, these aren't all just standard 50 shades of gold which is what I thought this palette would be initially. And I think she tucked in some nice surprises with those duochromes and this like cool green matte that she threw in and this blue right here. So I think there is enough variety where you can create some really insane looks with this palette, but I just wanted to hold these up side by side so you can see a little comparison. I guess I could swatch this too for you guys since you know I'm here, so. I think like if you're balling on a budget, of course you want to go with the Juvia's Place one, but here's some similarities right there. That brown and that gold look very similar. And here's the next three. And then the last three are all shimmers in this palette. So, yeah, I can see some shades are similar, and if you don't necessarily have $130, I think this could be a good dupe, like, or a good alternative um, to spending all of this money. But yeah, just wanted to show you those two as well, since they're both kind of like that gold theme that I, you know, that just came to mind right away when I was thinking of those palettes. Okay guys, so pretty much kind of gave you the lowdown on the Natasha Denona Gold palette. My last question I always like to ask myself is, would I repurchase this palette? And the answer is yes. I actually found myself a Natasha Denona palette that I plan on keeping. So I'm really excited about that. I actually just ordered the Cranberry palette from her, the holiday palette during the sale. So I'm excited to receive that and test it out. I'm hoping the shadows are as good quality as in the gold palette because I've had trouble with those five pan palettes in the past. And so if it's good quality, I'm going to be really excited because the color combinations are really lovely and I really like a good berry palette. So 
cranberry palettes right up my alley. I will keep you guys posted on that one. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, brilliant insights. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in my next video, which should be up the day after tomorrow, because if you guys don't know, I'm gonna tell you again. My uploading schedule, I upload every other day around 7 a.m. Central Time. So, I will see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>